Let's paint Rumbles the Elephant. And thank you for getting this sunflower art kit with Rumbles the Elephant. So you have your four Sharpie highlighters, a black Sharpie, two paintbrushes, package of sunflower seeds. You can paint, start uh, planting right away. A uh, homemade magnet, a sticker, a bookmark, a button to put on your backpack or your bulletin board and lots of pots of paint, about five pots of paint. So I'm just gonna set this aside now. And welcome, I'm Sheila McPhee, and I've designed the Sunflower Art Kit for you. And I hope you enjoy it as much as I did making it, because it was a lot of fun. So right now we're going to paint Rumbles the Elephant. And I have a couple of samples here. We have this lovely blue elephant with an orange and a lighter blue. And look, we also have a pink elephant. Now, who doesn't love a pink elephant, right? So we have lots of samples we can look at. And you know, the, the important thing is to make this your elephant. Now, I've included orange, yellow, uh, a turquoise, a blue, and a pink shades in the pots of paint in your kit. But if you have some colors at home that you want to use, feel free to use those. And I also have my little water containers here. I recycle my yogurt containers and use them when I paint. So I have some water already set up. And you'll need probably um, some paper towels or a napkin to just wipe your brush when you want to change the color of your paint. Okay, so I'll set that aside. Now the first thing you do is take your black marker included in your kit don't spill the paint, Sheila, or the water. <laughs> and then we're going to outline the elephant, okay, with the, the black marker. And it's just going to make the elephant more distinctive by outlining it with the black Sharpie. And once you get painting, you'll understand a little more of why it's going to really help you because it's going to give you a wonderful guide to where you paint certain colors. So you just continue on outlining the elephant and down the sides. Don't you love elephants? I like his name, Rumbles. It just seemed appropriate because you probably, I've never seen or been around a real elephant, but I'm sure you can probably hear them before you, you see them, either with their magnificent voice and elephant cry or their big feet making a big sound on the planet Earth. So I thought rumbles would be good. You'll hear them rumbling in the distance. Amazing. Turn their toenails. There we go. There. So we've got rumbles outlined like that. Now, what we're going to do now, we're going to make another line around the same shape, but it's going to be a little ways from the edge. So you take your Sharpie and you just start moving it around the shape of the elephant. You're making another line. And continue on down. And it's kind of, it's going to be really cool. I just, I developed this little technique and I, I like it a lot. I use it a lot in my, even my big paintings. It just adds a certain little, little flair to my art. And I'm so happy to share it with you. So there, we've got our elephant outline. We'll put our top on our Sharpie and set that aside. So now we're going to take, let's do the background first, okay? So we've got this blue and that blue and that blue. I think what I'd like to do is, hmm, maybe make the background. We're going to wet our, big, our larger brush. Just wet the brush a little bit. Take your paper towel 
is you have to squeeze it on the brush a little. You don't want it too wet. But then we're going to start with a blue on blue. I'm going to do a yellow background. Let's start with yellow. Okay, so we'll pick up some yellow on our brush and we'll just start painting the canvas. There we go, just fill that in. Fill that in a little bit down there. If your brush has a little bit of water on it, it's really easy to move the paint. So that's a real bonus. And then you can go right into that second line that we made quite close. And don't worry about if you go over the line because we're going to come back to that later. Okay. And we'll fill that in. Just go right up to that line. Right on. Like I said, with a little bit of water on your brush, it helps you move that paint with with ease. It's a little easier to move the paint. You don't want to blob it up too much because we have to let this dry before we can, and then we'll do that center right there and right in there in between the legs. His big legs, his big powerful legs. And then we're going to just put our brush in the water and clean it and hold it flat in between the paper towel and clean it. Put some water again and we're going to take some orange. A little bit of orange and we're going to add some shapes there like that. Isn't that funky? Mm -hmm. There, look at that. I love it. Looks like the house that he lives in. <laughs> and then we'll do the same on the other side of the canvas. Mm -hmm. And that's the fun thing about painting. It's all about shapes and sizes and colors and lines. And you just go the opposite way like that. Look at that. It's like he's walking on super bricks. Yes, yes. So we're going to clean our brush again and then just hold it in between the paper towel to wipe it a little bit dry. And then at the top here, we're going to take orange first instead of yellow. We took yellow at the beginning, so we're just going to paint this, this part orange, beautiful orange, so pretty. We'll just fill that in around the top, fill that background in. We go right into that second line that we created. And you don't need a whole lot of paint because after it dries, we can go in and add some other little details. But we're just going to get this started. there and then just blend it in down to that yellow section like that okay I'm going to add that just add a little bit of water and I'm just going to pull that down see the nice thing about acrylic paint it almost can act as a, a watercolor doesn't take much. I kind of like that. Add that. Okay, so we're going to wipe our brush again and pick up some, some yellow. And we're going to dab that on the top. Some little yellow shapes like that. Dab that across the top. Don't need much paint. Look at that. 
He's looking beautiful already. Very colorful. Like that. And then over here. There you go. Look at Rumbles. Is he not making a statement already? So we're going to put our just put our paintbrush in that little yogurt pot of water. And then we're going to pick up our smaller brush. And we're going to use, should we use pink? Let's see what pink would look like. Let's just give it a little try. Ooh, ooh I like that. Pink. Pink. And I'm thinking some blue with the pink. No, I don't think so. No. Let's just, let's stick with the pink. Pink always works, doesn't it? <laughs> so fill in that section there with your pink paint and with your smaller brush and just drag it down. That pink will go a long way because the brush has, you know, just a nice amount of water on it. Like I said, acrylic paint can be, it's very soluble, so you can really lighten it up with water. So you can make that paint go a long ways. So fill that in. Don't worry about going over that uh, black line because we'll we'll come back to that later. And then just continue on with the pink. Oh, that's a bit much there. That's okay though. It's okay if you get a little bit of too much because it'll dry and it'll look really really sharp. Awesome. Now, having little pots of, paint, of water really come in handy, and I love recycling my yogurt containers. Actually, I make really beautiful flowers out of these yogurt containers. Oh, I just happen to have one here. Look, I make these flowers. That would look nice in the elephant head, wouldn't it? Isn't that pretty? What other one do I have? Oh, I've got this one. Mm -hmm. So I make those from those yogurt containers. <laughs> Very nice. So you can find creativity in just about anything. So we're going back to our pink. Pink. And we're going to start just moving it around in the shape, almost the shape of the ear. Of the ears, like that. And the same over here. I mean, if you want to fill it in, that's fine too. You just make it your elephant. But I'm doing something a little bit different. And uh, that's the beauty and freedom of art. It's your art. So you just follow those lines from the marky, marker, from the Sharpie, and uh, add those pink lines. I like it. And then his trunk, of course, we're going to go like this. Beautiful. I wonder if there ever was a pink elephant. And make another little shape up there in the top. Like that. Mm-hmm. Ooh, pretty. It's so pretty. I love it. And then pink. And I think I'm going to use yellow. I love yellow and pink together. So we're going to put, just go in there and fill in that space around the last space we created in his ear. Fill that in with pink. Like that. Mm -hmm. Well, pink and yellow is so happy. It's so springy and beautiful. Reminds me of tulips. <laughs> yes, so just fill in those spaces with your yellow paint. Yeah. And like I said, don't be afraid. Of, don't worry about going over those black lines because we'll come back to that later. Yeah. But if you want to fill in, if you want a yellow elephant, a pink elephant, a blue elephant, it's your elephant. 
So you color it, paint it whatever color you wish. But, uh, I've got some blue elephants here, so I thought it'd be fun to try a different color. <laughs> yes, so there's lots of you, lots of guides for you to choose from. There's lots of variety and samples. So let's call it for that one. Mm -hmm. And then we'll continue on coloring that in. Actually, if you pick up, it's like doing the markers. If you pick up some of that other paint, it makes it kind of uh, fun and blends it in. Adds a bit of distinction. Like that, see? It's just not one solid color. I think it'd be fun to see a yellow elephant <laughs> with pink bows in its hair or something. <laughs> oh yeah, you gotta love that. Mm -hmm. I've never seen a real elephant though, but you never know, someday I may. I like painting them though. They're a lot of fun. Rumbles the elephant. Look at that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go here on this side. So when you get your kit, you get three pre-sketched canvases, two sunflowers, and this one features Rumbles the Elephant. So, you know, it's a great project to have, a nice activity. It's all ready for you. Everything you need to paint is in the kit. And uh, it's great to travel with. If you're going on a little road trip this summer, whether you're driving or flying or taking the bus or just, just hanging out in your backyard, it's kind of fun to have this little project ready for you. Whether you're going to do it with your family, your mom and dad, or your grandparents, your granny or grampy, or your best friends, have them over and have a nice little painting. You could share one of the canvases and have them paint along, or you might have a sibling that would love to paint their own. And the nice thing about these canvases is that they make great shelf sitters. You can take them to your room and uh, put them on your shelf. But the other little thing is you can buy these magnets, like at Staples or somewhere, and you cut up a piece of magnet put it at the back of this painting and you've got a beautiful piece of art for your fridge. A gorgeous magnet for your fridge. There you go. There's Rumbles. Now we're going to make, pick up some blue, a little bit of blue, just to have a little blue on your, your brush. And we're going to make, put some blue in here, right there. Mm-hmm. Oh yes, I like that. Mm -hmm. Very nice. But isn't he bright and cheery and happy? That is one happy elephant. <laughs> yes, and we'll put a little blue up here. In his eyes, just at the top. Just go around the top a little bit for his eyes. And a little bit of blue in his toenails. Blue toenails. How modern. Very modern. Mm-hmm. There you go. Look at that. And we're going to clean this brush. And just dab it in the... And we we'll take a little bit of the turquoise. And add the turquoise up there in his eyes with the blue. A little bit too much, but that's okay. There. I like it. I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Looking pretty snazzy, I'd say. Wow. Wow. I'm so happy. And the nice thing about it, see this part down here has dried already, so that's good. So we'll take our marker. And when the rest of your painting dries, take your black marker and go over, 
go over the outline again because that's going to really pop every color out. See how that's going to just make everything amazingly in front, front and center. So you can go over all those marks again and wait till it's dry. And then down here, I'm going to go around each one of these little designs with my black marker. Like that. Just going to add some another little level of design to your piece. And Mm, look at that. So you can continue on and do all of the, the rest of your painting with your black marker. And then you know what? It just came to me. We could fill in some really beautiful words right here. Got lots of space to spell something. What should we spell? I think elephants. E is for elephant. Uh, well, right here, E is for elephant, and it's also for, I think elephants are very kind. So I'm going to put the word kind right here. Yes. Oh, I love that. Kind. And I also think, I'm going to put a word over here too. I also think they're very happy. Right. So, you can choose some words if you like and fill in your Rumbles painting with some special, real special words that mean something to you. So there you have it. There's Rumbles. Rumbles in yellow, orange, pink, blue, and turquoise, and black. So thank you for following along, and I can't wait to see what you create. So when you're finished, you send me a photo of your painting, and I'll put it in the online gallery on my website at sheilamcphee.ca. So I'll see you soon. Bye for now.